Welcome to Microsoft Word 2016 for the Mac. So what are we going to cover in this new version of Microsoft Word? We're going to look at creating and working with Word documents, setting up the page, tables, auto text and automatic features, advanced formatting options, looking at inserting and managing shapes and images within your document, and a look at mail merge. We're going to look at how to create new documents and save documents in various locations, entering text content into a Word document and dealing with how it wraps, and then formatting. So we're going to look at altering the typeface, the color, the character sizes, adding spaces and breaks. So that's line breaks, soft breaks, hard breaks, paragraph breaks, and page breaks. Basics of bold, italic, and underline, so quick formatting options, and then paragraph forming, left align, right align, center align, justify, a variety of different options that are available in Word for bullet points. And an important thing to look at is spell checking. When we consider page setup, although you get a default page within Word, we may want to deviate from that default, and as such, we may wish to change the paper size or the orientation. We may wish to alter margins, we may wish to add or remove borders, add a watermark to our document so that it appears on every page. And then in the same section, we look at how to create a PDF file from your Word document. When we deal with tables, we start with the basics, creating tables, adding rows, adding columns, removing rows, removing columns, widening columns, giving a bigger height to the row. We look at merging cells so that one cell can sit across the top of many cells. And then we look at splitting cells as well. We explore the formatting of tables and the styles that are available to you or that you can customize yourself with your own background colors, your own font colors, your own borders, your own border colors, your own border styles. We look at aligning your table with text that is already within a document. And then the important things, if you've got a large table, then you may wish to have header rows. A header row is where the same header repeats at the top of every page. And then we look at the great tool that Word tables can offer, which is the ability to do some basic mathematics. Automatic features come next. Being able to create and edit auto text entries. An auto text entry is a snippet of text that you store in the system and can call back and reuse whenever you feel fit. We look at auto correction and how Word automatically changes things for you, which you may or may not be aware of, and how to disable some of those automatic options. We explore advanced formatting. You may wish to consider headers and footers, having different headers and footers on odd and even pages. You may wish to consider adding your own tabs. There's default tabs, but we may wish to create our own tabs. And there are different types of tabs, center align tab, right align tab, decimal tab. You may wish to use multiple columns in a Word document, just like a newspaper. That's achievable. You may wish to add drop caps to where the initial letter of a paragraph is actually quite large and uses up more than one line of information. That's referred to as drop caps and has quite a dramatic effect on a document. We explore adding shapes and images. So adding a variety of shapes that are already predefined in Word, resizing, moving, deleting, formatting those shapes, making use of Word art, which effectively is shapes as letters, really. Adding smart art objects, which are clever shapes that do a variety of things and are linked to each other, but you'll see them in action. Inserting and manipulating your own images, so photographs you may have taken or you may have purchased. And then dealing with all of those different types of objects when they are sat within text, so getting the text to wrap around them under your control. Our final section is on mail merge, and obviously we discuss what a mail merge is, and then look at how we can physically carry that out. So merging a set of data, which may be stored in Excel, maybe stored in a Word table, and merge that with a document so that you effectively create a multi-page document that is customized to match the data that you already hold. We also look at being able to filter out that data where you may have a large amount of data and may not want to make use of all of it. If at the end of the course you do have any queries, questions or comments, please feel free to contact me using my email address training at nybytes.co.uk. All I can say is enjoy.